when you first log in, you're going to go to your dashboard. Your dashboard is just where everything happens. And we're going to start, uh, you'll see that there is a welcome to your WordPress site. Now, if you go down, it's going to tell you to fill in your basic settings. Settings. You're going to choose your privacy settings, select a tagline, a time zone. Those are all things that you can figure out. Um, uh, if we put in your, time, your tagline, I did here, the site title is davidtennant.org which you may change at any time. And I added this tagline so that you'd know what it was, everything you want to know about David Tennant. This has to be accurate, and this has to be accurate. The rest of it, uh, you can put in whatever you like. Right now, if there's any problems or questions, my email is in there. But if you would like, you are welcome to change that to either of your emails and then everything will come to you and if it's something that you can't handle then you can always contact me later. Now can anyone register? I put yes so that people can register and they can um, uh, they can comment and stuff like that easier and, you, and it cuts down a little bit on the uh, amount of junk that you get and spam you get but not a lot. Now, I have everybody listed as a subscriber. What you can do is what I did. When you guys um, first registered, you were subscribers, and then I came in and changed you to administrators. You can add a person as an editor, which means that they can look at articles that you've written and edit them, obviously. You can make them just an author, which they will put something in, and it will go to you for you to um, authorize um, and then you can have contributor, but these these three uh, all require that uh, this. Wait, a I take that back. These this one requires that you authorize it before the article can be published. Then you can pick your date format. I've just got standard U.S. times and your time format. And again, and it changes on Monday. You can change that to whatever you want. All of this can be changed any time over and over as many times as you like. You click Save Changes and the information's in there. Now what I would like for you to do is go back to your documentation. I mean, excuse me, back, ugh, back to your dashboard here. That'll be the easiest way to do it. Go back to your dashboard, I say, Home. And you will see that you get more options and um, add content. They have sample pages up here. And you should make up an About Me page. Who you are, this is a fan site, blah, blah, blah. Now, when you create a page, I'm going to do this one different. I'm going to open this in a new tab. Now, when you uh, put it up, there you see that Cynthia has already put some stuff up. There's an admin page. This is where you add pages. Now pages don't change the way posts do. Posts are constantly being updated. A page is something that stays there all the time like who you are or uh, what you do or the say if you wanted to do something permanent about say a, a bio on David Tennant that you would put on a page and it would always stay there and it will be reflected and I'm going to go up here and go to if you click on this and open a new tab it'll take you to the main page now if you look at the main page you'll see my sample page which is here is posted here and David's test page which um, was put up by um, Cynthia is also there. So your pages are going to be across the top and they don't change. This is information that you want everybody to know about this particular website. Okay, mm, let's get out of that. And now those are the pages which you can put in, take out, you can make them, you can fix them so that people can uh, comment on them if you want to. You can change them. If you say the sample page, if you don't like it, you can edit it. 
or you can trash it. So then I would come over here to the sample page and I will put, uh, I don't like this page. And then you go over here and you update it. Now the page, it, this is the kind of thing that I'm going to go over quickly because you don't need to learn it right at fault first. You do want to stay with the default template normally. And you can have pages and they can be inside of pages. In other words, you can have uh, David, tenant, birthday. And under that, you can have birthday one, birthday two, and birthday three. And they would still be pages. And you can say, okay, this was his third birthday. And you can put it in the order that it would be posted third. But those are kind of things that you have to wait a little while to do. Now, I have given you a, pro, a program called SEO Pack. And I will explain to you how to, how to fill that out and how important this is after I go over all the really basic stuff that's in here. Now, if you go down here, um, you will see it says write your first post. Okay, a post looks like a page, except a post is the thing, is the article that's going to be changing constantly. These are like the pages of a magazine. And when you turn the page, it's a different story. But a, a a page on here is more like the table of contents in a magazine. It stays the same. But a post is like the articles in the magazine, and they keep changing. I hope that confuses it enough for you. Um, what you have here is you will write your article a good, nice title. I recommend that you start all of your titles as David tenant until you get into search engines because that's one of the things they look at is the name of the website and the first part of the um, article's name, title, I knew the word. Okay, now we got David Tennant is my hero. And I go down here and I'm going to put uh, something, something, something 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 and then i realized oh wait i gotta go feed the cat and i don't want to lose this over here because it's gotten pretty long so i can save a draft of it and that means that it's saved but it's not visible to anyone but you and i will show you where that is in a moment now the other thing you can do is if you put a photo in there say and you're not sure how it's all looking everything you can hit preview and you can look at it but you can't do anything to the preview this is this is not uh, you can't get to this at all but what you can do is if you see something something and you want to change that to something one and something two you can come back over whoops you can come back over here and do that and then if it's a long article that you put a lot of time into, save the draft occasionally, just like you would on anything that you're typing. Because if you don't, your computer will eat it. I've had it eaten several times, so periodically if it's a long article, I like to put my articles together right here on the page rather than put them somewhere else and then move them and change all the formatting. I just type right directly into this like a mainstream of consciousness. So save periodically, otherwise it'll you'll something will always go wrong. Now if you read it and you think it sucks, you can move it to the trash and it's gone. It's excuse me, it's like the recycle bin. It's still there but it's not going to show up anywhere. You have to go into trash and recover it because I think they assumed at some time or another you were going to do something stupid and sit something in the trash. Now, if, it, if you like everything on it, you can publish it, but you can't publish it after you write the article without doing these things. You have to select, well, you don't have to, but you should select a category. 
and I'm going to make up categories. You can delete these at any time. I'm going to put uh, David Tennant's childhood and uh, David Tennant or David's like latest projects where you could put whatever movie he's currently involved in. So try to spell correctly because I can't. And you would add this category. Now, when we see David's latest projects, let's go here to David's project. And we're going to say, okay, David's latest projects, that's the category. But what about, this is just an overall page. Why don't we add a page just for for uh, Midsummer's Night Dream. Or no, let's say just Shakespeare. Except I don't know how to spell Shakespeare. But that's close enough. Let's see if spell checker goes. Notes. And now, I want Shakespeare to be under David's project. So I can actually add it to that. I can add it to uh, the category to that. So that it's his latest projects. And then you can break it down by different movies or whatever he's done. When you get down here, you're going to see tags. And you'll probably see those over and over again. And tags are important because that's how search engines find you. Just like when you go to Google and put in David Tennant. So obviously the first tag we're going to want on here is David Tennant. And since it's Shakespeare, we're going to put the, the name of latest play whatever that is. And I would put something like uh, David Tennant's uh, latest project. Because those are the kind of things that you would search for if you were looking for them. And I will add them. Well, first of all, I will copy them. Make a copy of them. And then I will add them here. Now, these are you can put these up on your website or not. Now, this little widget over here is real important. Okay, this is called an SEO pack. And what it does is it's the stuff that the, the search engines really like to look at. And we're going to want to do this. We're going to go up here and we're going to get the title of this article and put it here. And these are things I will help you with. You don't have to learn all this now. I just want you to know what all this stuff on the page is. Because this posting page is your most important page. And this is just to give you an idea of what all the stuff is. Now, what I could, what I did for uh, basically Billy Boyd is when they first started out, I would go in and do their SEO pack for them and help them with their words until they got a chance to learn how to do it. Now, in here... You can use the first part of the paragraph or whatever, but you can say um, this. You don't want to put this article is about, but that's what you're going to put. Uh, you know, it'll be something like um, David Tennant is a hero to me because blah, blah. Blah, and he has a nice ass. Okay, now we've got all this lined up and we see all this nice stuff. And you look at it and you think, I'm a genius. This is great stuff. Well, then you hit publish. And when you hit publish, it will now be seen on the page. You can view the post here, and it will open it in a new tab, and it will look like this. Blah, something, something, and this is posted in blah, 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 blah. And you can see this is your article. Okay? Now, what it does on the main page is if you go back to the main page, you will see here, this is the last article that was printed. So the last article printed will be the first one up here unless you change the thing somewhere else, okay? By the way, here's your shout box over here. You can start leaving messages. I've been leaving messages, but no one has left me one back. 
Now, let's go back to our dashboard home. And you will see over here that you can customize your site. You can change the background color if you're not if you don't like the one you have. You can change it. You can put up an image, all that sort of things. And whatever you bring in here, you can see up there. Let me see if I can find something. Let's put let's put Matt Smith up there now. Well, what'll happen is if you upload it, it'll it'll show it to you in a minute, depending on how fast my time connection is. There, see. Now, because I put it just one in, it repeated over and over, and it's all the way down the page. So you're probably not going to like that. And you can, and then it'll ask you, do you want to save it or do you want to position it? You can change, make all these changes here. And um, it's left and it's tiled. And of course, you can change that background however you like. You can change it to centered, uh, no repeat, and then there's just one great big mess, or one little bitty mess, Smith and a little. Um, you can make it scroll, or you can just select a back background color. Like if you want to put in, if you want the background to be all one color, you can just put in, uh, you know, like F, 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 F. There's six of them. And you can save it. And then when you go back over here, then you go to your main page and open it in a new tab. And if it doesn't come up as changed right at first, then you can sort of, you know, deal with it like that. And you're not going to be able to see it because it's down behind this background that is in here from the actual program itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to undo that by remove the background image. And then I'm going to come down here and uh, take off this background color. And then save the changes and Matt Smith will be gone. Yeah, I'm going to go back to home again. And I'll show you here. You can set up, select a header image and it's the same way. When you find out something really nice that you want to put up there in the heading, um, this is how this particular template you're using, this is where you would load it up in the size that it needs to be. Then you can go back to Home. And you can add some widgets. And I'm going to go into widgets in my next tape. I'm going to end this one here so it's not so ungodly long that you can't stand it. 